We're Glyph, the team behind a wide range of Filecoin dedicated products and tools. I'm Georgia, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the process of staking your fill tokens with Glyph. An important caveat first. At the time of making this video, staking your fill with Glyph is a one-way transaction. This means you can't unstake it until the withdrawal function is implemented around August 2023. Follow us on Twitter or join the Discord for updates. So a quick overview of the process. For this video, we'll be sending fill from a centralized exchange to a burner wallet and then into a Web3 wallet, finally staking it with Glyph. When you deposit fill into Glyph, you'll receive iFill in return, and you can use iFill on the secondary market as more DeFi opportunities arise. I've got a couple of tabs open here so I can show you the whole process, and this should be everything that you need. In this example, I have fill tokens on Coinbase, and I'm going to use the Web3 wallet MetaMask. Other wallets are available. Make sure you always do your own research. And always remember to back up your secret recovery phrase. Keep it somewhere safe and never share it with anyone. Metamask operates with many different blockchains, but the Filecoin network is not in the dropdown by default. You'll need to add it. Thankfully, this is really easy to do. Go to glyph.io, connect your wallet, and you'll see this prompt. Click Approve, and then Switch Network. Now you've done this, your Metamask wallet is pointing to the Filecoin network, and you can switch between networks whenever you like. Let's go over to the centralized exchange now. I've got some fill waiting to be moved over. If I just copy my MetaMask address in to send some fill to my wallet, you'll see it doesn't recognize the address. The Filecoin network does work with MetaMask, but some exchanges are yet to enable you to send fill directly from the exchange to your MetaMask wallet because their systems don't yet recognize these as valid fill destinations. If you're watching this in the future, this might have changed, in which case you can skip the burner wallet setup entirely and just deposit your fill straight into MetaMask and stake it from there. In the meantime, to get your fill into MetaMask, we need to send it somewhere in between first. You can create a temporary wallet that creates both Ethereum and Filecoin compatible addresses to receive the fill from Coinbase. Go to glyph.io, disconnect your MetaMask wallet, hit connect wallet, and then burner wallet. A burner wallet is a simple browser-based wallet. You don't need to download any software and it's not intended for long-term storage. Just treat it like a temporary middleman. Hit create seed phrase. Copy your seed phrase and keep it somewhere safe. It's important you save it because if you refresh the web page or disconnect for any reason, you'll need that seed phrase to access it again. Once you're connected, click the drop down and copy your burner wallet address. You'll notice it begins F1, which is the type of account address you'll need to input into Coinbase. Send the amount you want over. And if you're doing this for the first time, it's good practice just to send a small amount first in case you make any mistakes. Once the transaction is completed, you'll see fill reflected in your burner wallet balance. Once the fill is in your burner wallet, click on send fill. Paste your MetaMask account address into the recipient field and the amount you want to send. You need to make sure that you leave enough fill in the wallet to cover gas fees. Then hit send. After a few moments, you'll see your balance now in MetaMask. To deposit directly from MetaMask, Disconnect your burner wallet, and this time connect with MetaMask. Assuming you've connected with the correct address, your fill balance will be reflected in the Glyph interface. Enter the amount you want to stake. And once the transactions have completed, you'll see your iFill. You won't see your iFill in MetaMask automatically, but you can add the token address to your wallet easily here by clicking Add iFill to MetaMask. And after doing that, you'll see your iFill tokens reflected in your wallet. We hope this video has demystified some of the process of moving your fill tokens and staking them with Glyph. Thanks for watching. And check out our other explainer videos for more information on Glyph and how best to support the Filecoin network.